Schrod. I'm a practicum student here at UW Stevens Point. Um, I'm actually up here. Hi, again, welcome. My name is Allison Schrod. We are standing right outside Schmitty Reserve's Visitor Center, and we're going to be taking a closer look into an ant's life today. So come follow me as we go journey down the ant's life. Go, Hannah, go. You got this. You can lift it. Come on, come on. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. You're awesome. Unlike us humans, ants have the innate ability of super strength and are the unknown bodybuilders of the world. Ants are superhuman in terms of strength. They have incredible strength. They can hold anywhere from 50 to 5,000 times their own body weight. And the quantity depends on the species, but let's take a close-up look at some ants hard at work demonstrating that strength now. Ants are incredibly strong creatures that can carry between 10 to 100 times their own weight over long distances, depending on the species once again. The muscles of ants are spread throughout their body, not just focused in one place like us humans are. Their incredible neck strength of an ant helps them lift heavy things as well. While a human can barely hold up something about half its weight for very long, ants have no problem carrying objects many times heavier than themselves for long periods of time. Ant strength makes them perfect for carrying food and other items back to the colony, as well as helping to build nests through transporting small materials like leaves or sand grains, just like these ants are. Different species also possess different degrees of strength, mainly due to the difference in shapes and sizes between the species. Ants, like all insects, have a high ratio of strength to weight. This allows ants and bugs in general to be able to lift objects several times their own body weight. Why do we think that is? Well, one of the reasons is their mandibles. Ants are even stronger than they look because of those mandibles. If you were to remove the mandibles from an ant, it becomes much weaker as its jaw muscles make up a large portion of its power source. Another reason ants are so strong is because they have a wider range of muscles than us humans do. On the screen shows the different parts slash muscles of an ant. Their muscles allow them to exert themselves for long periods of time without getting tired as quickly, which would be the case with some human muscle fibers. If you think ants aren't cool yet, just you wait. As we see here in just a second, ants have a systematic ruling of royalty that they have to follow on a daily basis. You need to dig more tunnels! Yes! Yes! Just like much of history, ants have a royal caste system that they have to follow to ensure the success of their colony. Within the colony, there are four roles. Can you guess what one of those might be? You guess correct. The roles consist of queen, workers, soldiers, and drones, which is a fancy way of saying male ants. The queen's role is to lay eggs and ensure the colony's growth and survival. The queen is typically larger than other ants and has the ability to reproduce. The workers are responsible for various tasks such as foraging for food, taking care of the brood, building and maintaining the nest, and defending the colony. Workers are typically smaller in size and have specialized features for specific tasks. Soldiers have larger heads and powerful jaws, enabling them to protect the colony from threats and intruders. Soldiers may also assist in tasks such as nest defense and brood care when needed. Lastly, the drones have the sole purpose of mating with the queen to ensure the colony's reproduction. They have wings and are responsible for leaving the colony during the mating flight. I'm sure that you think ants are cruel now, but if I still haven't convinced you, we still have one more unique attribute of an ant to cover. As we can see here, ants have a giant network of tunneling systems underground to keep them safe every day. Each type of ant within a colony has a specific role to play in this process. For example, worker ants are responsible for excavating the soil, creating pathways, and fortifying the tunnels. What you are seeing is an example mold that a scientist created to represent ant tunnels that are underground. The direction and structure of the tunnels are influenced by various factors, including the availability of food sources, the presence of predators, and the geographical location of the colony. What we have now is an example of what ant tunneling would look like in real life right underneath our feet. There are some benefits to ant tunneling such as improved access to food sources, protection against predators, and extreme weather, and enhanced communication throughout the colony as a whole. There may be some food sources located underground that other animals or insects can't get to, but with tunneling, ants are able to easily access that block source. Ants' main source of communication is chemically. 
What I mean by that is ants leave their pheromones around the tunnels and other ants can pick them up and to understand what they are saying. In order to build these amazing tunnels, communication plays a key role in their success. Soil composition is also another key factor in their success. Now that you've learned all that, I bet now you think ants are not only just cool, but have now become your favorite insect. I hope everyone had a fun time learning with me and taking a deeper dive into an ant's life. I hope you learned a little bit more about their innate super strength, their royalty system, and their deeply, deeply rooted and connected tunneling systems. I hope to see everyone here at Schmickley Reserve. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.